Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are doing something to quickly inter or intra animate metahuman facial rigs. Now let me tell you what the goal is. I want to export facial control board rig animation from one metahuman to another so that I don't have to go through the entire process again. By the way, if you're not sure of which process I'm talking about, take a look at my previous videos on the channel. As you can see, I have this one project which has animated keyframes for the facial control board rig. What I want is the same animation on another metahuman. It can be in the same project or different, doesn't matter. By the way, I am using Unreal Engine 4.27 for this. Now why would I want the same animation on another metahuman you ask? Well, I don't know. Maybe I just decided to make another iteration of the project with better file management and less junk. I mean, you can have whatever reason you feel like. The problem is, none of the export options in Sequencer give me a functioning facial control board rig animation in the exported FPX. All I get is a blank transform. If you know where I am going wrong, I would love to hear it out. Send the suggestions in the comments. In the meantime, this is what I found. You can select all the keyframes in the facial control board rig, Ctrl C to copy them, and now this is basically a script sitting in your clipboard. If you paste it in a text editor, this is what it looks like. Around 400 lines of script which are basically your keyframes. Now, this also gives me the opportunity to do this. Create a new sequencer for this lady here. Bring in the same audio for comparison. Bring in the lady. Click the face and control V. And there you go. I almost cried when this worked. So if I go ahead and play this, you can basically see that it is working. Might need a few tweaks, but at least we have the base. Now the quick-witted ones amongst you guys might want to try this out for Unreal Engine 5, but there is a reason they call it early access. For satisfying your curiosity, I am going to paste it in a UE5 sequencer. and you get a good crash. I guess we are stuck with animating them like brutes until the official production version of UE5 is released. Don't forget to like the video if it was helpful and subscribe to the channel for more such content. See you again in the next one. Have a great day.